While waiting for the medication to surprise me, I amuse myself by thinking back to a recent pharmaceutical holiday I took to an alternate reality, wherein Auschwitz was an ostrich farm and the civil rights movement succeeded in dismantling all forms of centralized government. I place a great deal more stock in a fevered hallucination than in the thousand daily horrors the sober world has to offer. That's life. Say as Billy is run over by a monstrous truck carting malicious pigs to the slaughter. But this is, of course, the only sane reaction to an insane world. On the other hand, we could bemoan Billy's fate. Poor Billy had his whole life in front of him. But to allow oneself to be disappointed by life seems to be the height of rudeness. How should we place any expectations on life when life has no expectations of us? A billion years of organisms failing to achieve their full potential has created a universal context of absolute failure, allowing you to indulge guilt-free, meaningless existence comprised entirely of short-term goals. So drink up, get numb, kick up your heels. Smash your clock into the 86,400 pieces it wants to be. Poke holes in anything that believes itself to be intact. Take your car for a walk. Ride the dog to work. Screw it while you're there. Be skeptical enough that you can walk through walls. Take your medication with a grain of salt. Open wide and say, Ah.